Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to use the accordion element in Elementor. On your website, you may want to show the frequently asked questions in the accordion format like this. So whenever I click on this, it will close the other option and it will open the new one. So this is the default accordion element that comes with the basic Elementor plugin. And we are also going to install a free plugin that will give you an option to use the advanced accordion element in Elementor. And this is an example of the accordion created using a free plugin. And using that free plugin, you will also be able to use the image accordion like this. So this is the first accordion item. This is the second one. So this is an image accordion. So if I click on this one, it will go to that particular page. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using Elementor on this website. Now we will start with the accordion element that comes with the basic Elementor plugin. And after that, we are going to install a free plugin which will give you an advanced accordion option. So let's start with the basic element. So I'm going to add a new section here. And let's add some padding, the top and bottom padding. Click on the plus sign and search for accordion accordion that comes with the basic elemental plugin so drag it and drop it here now this is the default layout of this element you will see two different accordion one and two so just like the tabs that we saw in the previous video you can change the settings of the accordion also let's change the name of so let's change the name of the first item and here you will see the text editor here you can add content for this item so I have added some content here you can also add image so if you want to add image you can add image so here you will see the add media option select that one and add new media here and you can align it to the left so the text will be here on the right side so this is the first item let's go to the second item and change the name so this accordion option will help you to create sections such as FAQ. If you want to add frequently asked questions on your website, you can use this accordion element on your website. So let's add some content here also. So just like the text editor, you can change the settings. If you want to add more items, you can simply click on this item or you can copy this and add a new one. So let's change the name. So this is how you can add the item and content. Now these are the options, plus and minus. You will see the plus and minus icons here. So if you want to change, you can change from the library. So these are the different options you can select. So here you will see the icon has been changed. So this is for the active icon. So this one is active. So if you want to change the icon for the active, you can change that one also. So when it is active, I'm going to show the check mark. FAQ schema, you, if you want, you can activate the schema for the FAQ. All right, now let's go to the style section. And here you will the style section. So this is the border width. So if I change, you will see the change in the border around this item. So I'm going to change it to the one. And you can also change the color of the border. So this is how it will look. Now this is the title section. If you want to change the background of the title, you can change the background. Right now I've changed it to black. And this is for the color. This is the default color and this is for the active color. So I'm going to change this one also. So this is for the closed and this is for the tabs that are opened. Now here you can change the color size 
so you can change the size as well as the font type if you want to add more padding you can add padding so it will look bigger now the icon so this is for the icon color if you want to change icon color you can change here active icon color so this is the spacing between the icon and text now this is for the content the content color and if you want to change the background color you can change the background color of the content so let's see this is how it will look you can also change the font size of the content inside so let's save it and let's see how does this look so this is how the accordion will look Now we are going to install a free plugin that will give you an option to use advanced text accordion as well as you will be able to add image accordion on your website. So let's go to the plugins and go to add new and search for elements kit. So this is the plugin elements kit elementor add-on that we are going to use and I have it already installed so let me activate it. Okay, now let's go back and refresh this page. Okay, now let me add a new section here and let's add some padding. Click on the plus sign and search for accordion. And here you will see the accordion that comes with the EKIT that is element skit. So let's click on it, drag it and drop it here. And this looks similar to the default one. You can change you can make changes from here you can change the title and the description just like what we did in this case let's skip that part and okay now this is the style option primary this is the primary style if here you will see different option curve shape so here you will see the curve shape side curve so this is the side curve box icon so this is the box and here you can place the icon floating style so this is the floating style so i'm going to set to side curve this one looks good okay now let's go to icon here you will see two different icons right now the position is on the right side here you can change the position to the left and both side so here you'll see both side so left icon from here you can change the left icon and other icons you can change from here so so i'm going to keep it on the right side okay so here you will see the icons now here you can see that show loop count if i enable it you will see the count here one two three so you can also show the count now let's go to the style and from here we can change the style so this is for the typography you can change the size here you will see the size and you can also change the font type this is for the open now the color let's change it to white you will see the white right now this tab is open this accordion item is open so it's, these settings are for the opened one background type you can change the background type color you can change the color and border if you want to add border you can also add border add border radius so here you will see the border radius okay now let's go to the closed option so this is for the closed you can change color and also change the background color for the closed option okay, so this one looks good and here you can add border and border radius if you want to add padding you can also add padding for the now let's go to description and this is the description you can change the color the text color this is for the typography you can change the font size font type font weight background color so here you can change the background color for the description border radius if you want to add border to this one you can add border i'm not going to change it 
now this is the border for the entire section i guess so we do not need that so i'm going to disable it none this is for the icon the closed one you will see this icon you can change the color of the icon this is the color and size also and this is for the slide which is open you can change the color and size right now let's update it let's go back and refresh it so this is the one that we have just created now let's go back and let's add a new section here we are going to add image accordion so let's add some padding to this section click on the plus sign and search for accordion and here you will see the option image accordion so let's click on it drag it and drop it here so now we are going to create image accordion so right now we have not set image so you will see this is for the first second image third image fourth image so let's see how we can change it so we are on the first section and we are going to add image so let's use this image so this is the image for the first one okay now this is the title you can change the title and if you want to add icon you can also add icon so when i go here you will see the icon the title and the button if you want disable button you can disable the button otherwise you can enable it enable button and this is the content for the button read more and here you can paste the link of the page where you want people to go after clicking this button so if you want to enable pop-up you can also enable pop-up like this so i'm going to disable it so let's move on to the next one that is the image accordion title so i'm going to change the image here let's use this one title let's say seo enable icon and look for an icon so this is the second one you will see this name and the icon here you can paste the link of the page where you want them to go now let's go to the next one change the image so this is the next one and here you can change the name and put the link here next one change the image name and put the link for the button this is how you can add the content now let's see what are the options this one is horizontal you can also change it to vertical so vertical does not look good to me so i'm going to change it to horizontal and active behavior for click let's go to style section and here is the minimum height so you can change the height so this is for the general so you do not need that one let's go to the title and this is the title you can change the color of the title so i'm going to keep it as it is icon size you can change the icon size from here button this is for the button you can change the color of the button so these are the settings for the pop-up icon color link icon color background color right so let's see how does this look updated let's go back to the demo and refresh the page so this is the image accordion so you can see that so here we have not added icon so if i click on it it will go to that particular page So this is how you can use the accordion element using Elementor. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section.
and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.